So warm. Um, got two quick tips for you. I'm doing the whole video for this one anyway, but um, those of you who follow me on uh, Instagram have seen the other side of this anyway. I'm just doing cladding. This is purely decorative. I'm just doing cladding to this. Um, it's a pellet house boiler. So in here there's um, a big machine that takes wood pellets and uh, eco friendly. Anyway, I'm just doing cladding to match in with the other building. I've got two quick tips to, uh, to show you which speed things up slightly if you're working on your own. And with the spacings, the first one is cut a bit of wood, the same as your, your spacings, so you haven't got to keep measuring it each time. I know. 
know it's simple, I know it's, you know, one of those things that you kind of think about. I go into these projects sometimes and not do it. So anyway, what I do, this is the first quick tip. I put it on where I'm going to have it. I put a little nail. Tap, tap, tap. Go along to the next bit. So there you go, I've got my spacings, but obviously, you know, you want to keep it up, you want to get it on there. If you're on your own, you've only got one pair of hands. So there you go, got the board in place. Resting there nicely, so you've got your hands free. Drive the in. Nice and simple. One pair of hands. There we go, actually doubles up. You, can, you get your spacing, you set your nail in, you can take it out afterwards as well. Okay, just a quick little tip. Right, so there we go. Done all my tidying up. So this is... I'm not sure if it's coming out on the camera, it's so sunny. There we go, that's the front of this pallet store. So it's one of these. Just in case anyone's ever wondered about these things. Oh, doctor. This is basically a big pellet hopper for a boiler. It's all eco-friendly here. So, um, yeah, let's get that all locked up. So, yeah, pellet, pellet store, pellet hopper thing in there. But, uh, just went round that little plug thing now I'm not quite sure what it was but it wasn't worthwhile getting an electrician out to move it and I'm certainly not fiddling around with electrics so you probably see here I ended up just going over the top so I've done all those cuts and everything and I ended up just going over the top of it um, but I needed the bracing bar across there anyway to, to you know go on to and <coughs> pardon me to fix on so the um, the, uh, the coping there, uh, the fascia, I ended up taking off, moving back, putting a baton across the top of the, the roof, and then, you know, just to take up the extra space which has all occurred because where I brought it out, just finishes this end off. I could do that purely because this end, because it overhangs, I think they call that it's probably the gable or whatever it is. I just need to shorten this pipe, that's why I haven't put that back up there yet. Um, but where this overhangs, I, there's enough there that I could uh, actually do that. Where around the other side, so this is all the face. I end up taking all the guttering off and just uh, reattaching all that. Keep it up tight underneath. I say this is literally only for aesthetics. This is not functional at all. Um, so that's this side here. I ended up putting an extra bit of batten on this bit here and um, just to bring it out slightly, just to close this gap up just to match this one more than anything but uh, let's say I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, it's okay, you know it's one of those things where it will do the job I don't want to forget a level um, well this is all going to get painted up black anyway so it's uh, That'll all blend in with time. There we are. I think it's transformed this area quite a bit. This is the one, this is, um, you probably recognise this actually because I've done a, this is all taken seed here. Cause this was all a big pile of rubbish. This is the ivy wall, where this actual whole wall fell down. It was all clad with ivy. And they've had somebody coming in and rebuilding it, which is fantastic. Uh, 
This is a real shame, this part. This is the hedge that I planted up for bare roots. It is in there. Hawthorn's doing well. Um, the hawthorn is in there, but it's all these thistles which are taking over, which is a real shame. Looks like that's actually those roses have died. Hawthorn looks okay there. It's a real shame, but there we are. I think because it's just been so hot of late, all these young things still do need a lot of water. You know, they've been been planted for quite a while there now, but it still needs to drink. Um, I'm yet to do it as well. I've done a video of me just doing these lavenders. And, uh, I'll release that at some point once I've edited it. It's strange, some of these videos, like these ones that I do, get edited really quickly and get put out with small jobs like that. I kind of just put to the wayside. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm sure uh, people have got criticism about how I've how I've done this but I'd like to just reiterate this is purely aesthetical, not functional. It's literally to match in with that building there. Um, and a couple of the other ones around the this cottage as well. That's got uh, the white weather boarding on there. I think this is that one's gonna stay white and I think this one's gonna go black. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.